Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. What has the man forgotten to pack for the trip? Hi, Freddy. All ready for the camping trip? Your backpack looks very full. Well, I didn't want to forget my sleeping bag like the last time I went camping. I was lucky then and it wasn't too cold. I hope I've remembered everything this time. Well, so long as you've got your sleeping bag, plus a torch and walking boots, you'll be fine. Oh dear, I've just realised I've left my torch behind. Oh, at least I've got my walking boots. <laughs> Never mind, I'll probably manage. You'll be fine. Now listen again. Hi, Freddy. All ready for the camping trip? Your backpack looks very full. Well, I didn't want to forget my sleeping bag like the last time I went camping. I was lucky then and it wasn't too cold. I hope I've remembered everything this time. Well, so long as you've got your sleeping bag, plus a torch and walking boots, you'll be fine. Oh dear, I've just realised I've left my torch behind. Oh, at least I've got my walking boots. <laughs> Never mind, I'll probably manage. You'll be fine. 2. What time is the plane expected to depart? This is an announcement for all passengers waiting to travel on the 10.45 flight to Glasgow. Due to poor weather, this flight is delayed and is unlikely to take off until 12.15. All passengers travelling on this flight can collect a special ticket at the information desk, which they can exchange for a drink and a snack at the cafe. Please note the check-in desk will close at 11.30. We apologise for the delay to your flight and we'll give you further updates as soon as we can. Now listen again. This is an announcement for all passengers waiting to travel on the 10.45 flight to Glasgow. Due to poor weather, this flight is delayed and is unlikely to take off until 12.15. All passengers travelling on this flight can collect a special ticket at the information desk, which they can exchange for a drink and a snack at the cafe. Please note the check-in desk will close at 11.30. We apologise for the delay to your flight and we'll give you further updates as soon as we can. 3. Where did the family go at the weekend? How was your weekend? Were there any tickets left for the play you wanted to see? Yes, but we decided to do something else in the end. I found a few more options online. We ended up getting some discount tickets to visit a castle. We all enjoyed it far more than the art gallery we went to last time we had a family day out. We're actually thinking of going there again. It's just as much fun as going to see a show at the theatre. Now listen again. How was your weekend? Were there any tickets left for the play you wanted to see? Yes, but we decided to do something else in the end. I found a few more options online. We ended up getting some discount tickets to visit a castle. We all enjoyed it far more than the art gallery we went to last time we had a family day out. We're actually thinking of going there again. It's just as much fun as going to see a show at the theatre. 4. What are the man and woman going to order? What shall we have to drink? I'm quite thirsty, so I think I'll just have water. Me too. Let's get a large bottle to share. Oh, yes, we could do that. Do you prefer sparkling? I always have still. Oh, I like sparkling water. How about getting a glass of still and a glass of sparkling? Actually, have you seen the prices? What about asking for a jug of tap water? It tastes just as good. 
especially if they put ice and lemon in it. Good idea. Now listen again. What shall we have to drink? I'm quite thirsty, so I think I'll just have water. Me too. Let's get a large bottle to share. Oh yes, we could do that. Do you prefer sparkling? I always have still. Oh, I like sparkling water. How about getting a glass of still and a glass of sparkling? Actually, have you seen the prices? What about asking for a jug of tap water? It tastes just as good. Especially if they put ice and lemon in it. Good idea. Five. Which photograph did the man take? Your website's great. Did you take all these photos? Not all of them. I included some others that were taken by friends, like this one of the desert. You can tell which are mine because the style's different. I'm interested in water, especially scenes showing rain. Have a look at this one of mine. Nice. And is this one yours? I love how the water in the lake's like a mirror for the trees. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's actually someone else's work, though. Now listen again. Your website's great. Did you take all these photos? Not all of them. I included some others that were taken by friends, like this one of the desert. You can tell which are mine because the style's different. I'm interested in water, especially scenes showing rain. Have a look at this one of mine. Nice. And is this one yours? I love how the water in the lake's like a mirror for the trees. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's actually someone else's work, though. Six. How does the man suggest his friend should travel to the concert? Hi, it's Neil. Uh, listen, I know I was supposed to give you and Jack a lift to the concert tonight in my car, but I'm not going to be able to make it. It's a shame my ticket will be wasted. Anyway, it's not that far to the concert hall from where you both live. You could always take the underground to Green Oak Station, and it's only a short walk from there. I'm sure you and Jack will be able to take a taxi home afterwards. Anyway, I hope you both have fun. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, it's Neil. Uh, listen, I know I was supposed to give you and Jack a lift to the concert tonight in my car, but I'm not going to be able to make it. It's a shame my ticket will be wasted. Anyway, it's not that far to the concert hall from where you both live. You could always take the underground to Green Oak Station, and it's only a short walk from there. I'm sure you and Jack will be able to take a taxi home afterwards. Anyway, I hope you both have fun. Bye. Seven. What is the weather forecast for the north this morning? Now for an update on the weather. Well, it's looking very different from yesterday in both the north and the south. In southern areas, there'll be some thick fog to begin with, making conditions difficult for people driving to work. That should disappear by around 11, though. There'll be heavy snow showers, mainly in northern areas, but hopefully these will be over by lunchtime. It'll be calm everywhere for most of the day, but with some strong winds coming in towards the evening. Now listen again. Now for an update on the weather. Well, it's looking very different from yesterday in both the north and the south. In southern areas, there'll be some thick fog to begin with, making conditions difficult for people driving to work. That should disappear by around 11, though. There'll be heavy snow showers, mainly in northern areas, but hopefully these will be over by lunchtime. It'll be calm everywhere for most of the day, but with some strong winds coming in towards the evening. That is the end of part one.
Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear a boy telling a friend about plans for his birthday. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm having a group bike ride and then a picnic in the park. I know it's the same as what we did last year, but I don't think that matters. I wanted to have all my mates from college and my football team, but it wouldn't be a good idea to have so many people riding together. So I'll have to choose between them, which is a shame. I'm sure it'll be fun, whoever comes. You're right. I hate having to make decisions like this. Anyway, you'll come, won't you? Of course. Now listen again. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm having a group bike ride and then a picnic in the park. I know it's the same as what we did last year, but I don't think that matters. I wanted to have all my mates from college and my football team, but it wouldn't be a good idea to have so many people riding together. So I'll have to choose between them, which is a shame. I'm sure it'll be fun, whoever comes. You're right. I hate having to make decisions like this. Anyway, you'll come, won't you? Of course. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about a football match they went to. Did you enjoy the match last night? I have to say I thought it was pretty dull. Oh, I don't know. Most people seem to be enjoying it, me included. Although, there weren't nearly as many people watching as there normally are. The cold weather might be the reason for the low numbers. And the people who were there weren't too happy with some of the things the referee did. He had some difficult situations to deal with. I didn't think he did too badly, actually. Anyway, at least our team won. That's what matters. Now listen again. Did you enjoy the match last night? I have to say I thought it was pretty dull. Oh, I don't know. Most people seem to be enjoying it, me included. Although, there weren't nearly as many people watching as there normally are. The cold weather might be the reason for the low numbers. And the people who were there weren't too happy with some of the things the referee did. He had some difficult situations to deal with. I didn't think he did too badly, actually. Anyway, at least our team won. That's what matters. Ten. You will hear a man telling his friend about a skiing holiday. I'm never going skiing again. Why? You look like you were having a good time in the photos I saw on the internet. They were taken at the start of the holiday. I was so excited then. So? What happened? Everything was fine until someone suggested trying one of the more advanced routes. I've never been so scared in all my life. It was too difficult for me and I had to give up halfway. I nearly hurt myself hitting a tree. The others all found this very funny, which made me feel pretty silly. Oh dear. Now listen again. I'm never going skiing again. Why? You look like you were having a good time in the photos I saw on the internet. They were taken at the start of the holiday. I was so excited then. So? What happened? Everything was fine until someone suggested trying one of the more advanced routes. I've never been so scared in all my life. It was too difficult for me and I had to give up halfway. I nearly hurt myself hitting a tree. The others all found this very funny, which made me feel pretty silly. Oh dear. Eleven. You will hear two friends talking about cars.
I hear you just bought a new car. How did you decide which one to get? Well, I often watch that TV show about cars. You know, the one with Ben Clark, where they give all sorts of information about different models. They mention some useful places to look online where people who've bought new cars give their opinions. I'd always rather see what car owners say than trust adverts or stuff on TV. Anyway, they were all pretty positive about the model I was hoping to get, so I went for it in the end. Now listen again. I hear you just bought a new car. How did you decide which one to get? Well, I often watch that TV show about cars. You know, the one with Ben Clark, where they give all sorts of information about different models. They mention some useful places to look online where people who've bought new cars give their opinions. I'd always rather see what car owners say than trust adverts or stuff on TV. Anyway, they were all pretty positive about the model I was hoping to get, so I went for it in the end. Twelve. You will hear a woman telling a friend about a singing competition. How are things going with preparations for the singing competition? Well, there are some strong singers this year, so I'm glad picking the winner is not my job. I mean, how do you go about choosing? Have you ever thought about entering a singing competition yourself? I think it's more fun watching and making comments about everyone else. And anyway, being in charge of the whole thing, I've more than enough to do, I can tell you. I'm spending ages sorting things out, including most evenings, but I love it. I'm sure it'll be great. Now listen again. How are things going with preparations for the singing competition? Well, there are some strong singers this year, so I'm glad picking the winner is not my job. I mean, how do you go about choosing? Have you ever thought about entering a singing competition yourself? I think it's more fun watching and making comments about everyone else. And anyway, being in charge of the whole thing, I've more than enough to do, I can tell you. I'm spending ages sorting things out, including most evenings, but I love it. I'm sure it'll be great. Thirteen. You will hear a woman talking to a friend about her recent move to a city. Are you happy about your move to the city? Well, my neighbours are very quiet, but there's a lot of street noise from all the shops and restaurants. I suppose everything's nearby, so now I can walk everywhere, which means I'm actually fitter than when I lived in the countryside. I hadn't expected that. I do sometimes wonder whether this is the right area for me, but once I've got to know more people, I'll be able to decide if it's the sort of place I'm going to be happy in. Why don't you come round soon? I'd love to. Now listen again. Are you happy about your move to the city? Well, my neighbours are very quiet, but there's a lot of street noise from all the shops and restaurants. I suppose everything's nearby, so now I can walk everywhere, which means I'm actually fitter than when I lived in the countryside. I hadn't expected that. I do sometimes wonder whether this is the right area for me, but once I've got to know more people, I'll be able to decide if it's the sort of place I'm going to be happy in. Why don't you come round soon? I'd love to. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time.
Look at questions 14 to 19 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear a woman called Kelly Robinson talking about her work as a maker of cartoon films. My name's Kelly Robinson and I make cartoons for a living. I do this on computers and I've been doing the job since I left university. Although I now know almost as much about computing as I do about cartoon design, I actually studied art for my degree. I got a job with a major film studio soon after leaving university. It's a great company to work for. The software programmes we use for making cartoons are really good, but it's the people there that make it such a fantastic place to work. Each department has its own special job to do when we're making a cartoon film. For example, the one I'm in works on animals in the story, while others focus on the human characters or the buildings. It's then the director's job to bring everything together. I'm always learning new skills to help improve my work. I did a writing course last year and learned a lot about different types of stories. And I've just started doing acting classes, which is surprisingly useful for understanding filmmaking, even though I don't plan to appear in any films. Some companies make cartoons the old-fashioned way, using thousands of individual drawings, but this takes a long time. Using this technique, it can take about two years to create a full-length film. Compare that to the eight months it takes my company to do the same, and you see the advantage of using computers. My next cartoon project will be the first thing I've done that isn't a film for children. It's actually something for a website. After working on so many kids' comedies, It'll be an interesting challenge. It will be quite refreshing. Now listen again. My name's Kelly Robinson and I make cartoons for a living. I do this on computers and I've been doing the job since I left university. Although I now know almost as much about computing as I do about cartoon design, I actually studied art for my degree. I got a job with a major film studio soon after leaving university. It's a great company to work for. The software programmes we use for making cartoons are really good, but it's the people there that make it such a fantastic place to work. Each department has its own special job to do when we're making a cartoon film. For example, the one I'm in works on animals in the story, while others focus on the human characters or the buildings. It's then the director's job to bring everything together. I'm always learning new skills to help improve my work. I did a writing course last year and learned a lot about different types of stories. And I've just started doing acting classes, which is surprisingly useful for understanding filmmaking, even though I don't plan to appear in any films. Some companies make cartoons the old-fashioned way, using thousands of individual drawings, but this takes a long time. Using this technique, it can take about two years to create a full-length film. Compare that to the eight months it takes my company to do the same, and you see the advantage of using computers. My next cartoon project will be the first thing I've done that isn't a film for children. It's actually something for a website. After working on so many kids' comedies, It'll be an interesting challenge. It will be quite refreshing. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. 
Look at questions 20 to 25 now. You have 45 seconds. You will hear an interview with a girl called Rosie Banks who swims in international competitions. This week, I'm joined by swimmer Rosie Banks, who swims in international competitions. Rosie, welcome. So, did you swim a lot when you were very young? Yes, before I even started school, my dad used to take my brother Joel and me to the pool in town he just wanted us to do something in our free time that wasn't looking at a screen. Joel was better at swimming than anyone we knew, and I practised as often as possible so I could swim as fast as him. And then you joined a swimming club and started training seriously. Yes, I was invited to join the club when I was 12. It took an hour to get to their pool. Mum drove me. We had to leave for training early each morning but we enjoyed chatting on the journey. With all the training and competitions, I couldn't attend school sometimes, which I was unhappy about. I was always much busier than my friends, but I still met up with them when I had time. And now you've had success at the Swim Stars International Competition. Tell us about that. Well, I trained hard and I expected to do well, although winning was still brilliant. Swimming isn't shown much on TV. It's usually famous footballers or tennis stars people love watching. So I couldn't believe people wanted to read and watch interviews with me. So I imagine it's expensive taking part in international competitions. Do you get help with the costs? Yes. Fortunately, a sportswear company pays for plane tickets as long as I use their swimsuits, bags and other stuff showing their brand. It'd be great if they also gave me financial support for hotels, as my parents have to spend a lot on that kind of thing. So you've got a new swimming coach now. What changes has she made? Well, I'm doing the same regular fitness training, but thanks to her suggestions about the way I move my arms through the water, I've already seen improvements in my speed. She's also looked at the food I eat. Luckily, she was satisfied with that. I'm very strict with my diet. And you're going to Spain soon, I hear. Well, I've got a short break first, and then I'm going on a special training course there for the whole summer. I'll work with lots of swimmers I haven't met before. I'm really looking forward to that. I won't do any races, but it'll still be hard work. Thanks, Rosie. Now listen again. This week, I'm joined by swimmer Rosie Banks, who swims in international competitions. Rosie, welcome. So, did you swim a lot when you were very young? Yes, before I even started school, my dad used to take my brother Joel and me to the pool in town. He just wanted us to do something in our free time that wasn't looking at a screen. Joel was better at swimming than anyone we knew, and I practised as often as possible so I could swim as fast as him. And then you joined a swimming club and started training seriously. Yes, I was invited to join the club when I was 12. It took an hour to get to their pool. Mum drove me. We had to leave for training early each morning, but we enjoyed chatting on the journey. With all the training and competitions, I couldn't attend school sometimes, which I was unhappy about. I was always much busier than my friends, but I still met up with them when I had time. And now you've had success at the Swim Stars International Competition. Tell us about that. Well, 
I trained hard and I expected to do well, although winning was still brilliant. Swimming isn't shown much on TV. It's usually famous footballers or tennis stars people love watching, so I couldn't believe people wanted to read and watch interviews with me. So I imagine it's expensive taking part in international competitions. Do you get help with the costs? Yes. Fortunately, a sportswear company pays for plane tickets as long as I use their swimsuits, bags and other stuff showing their brand. It'd be great if they also gave me financial support for hotels, as my parents have to spend a lot on that kind of thing. So you've got a new swimming coach now. What changes has she made? Well, I'm doing the same regular fitness training, but thanks to her suggestions about the way I move my arms through the water, I've already seen improvements in my speed. She's also looked at the food I eat. Luckily, she was satisfied with that. I'm very strict with my diet. And you're going to Spain soon, I hear. Well, I've got a short break first, and then I'm going on a special training course there for the whole summer. I'll work with lots of swimmers I haven't met before. I'm really looking forward to that. I won't do any races, but it'll still be hard work. Thanks, Rosie. That is the end of part four.